This final example in this chapter illustrates how discrete and continuous distributions can be combined. In the second section in this chapter, we define the binomial distribution with parameters n and p. Well, n was always assumed to be a constant positive integer, and p was always assumed to be a constant um, probability between 0 and 1. But what if, instead of assuming both of them are constants, we decide to let p be a random variable? And the way that is given here in the notation, x has the binomial distribution with a constant parameter n, and then a random parameter p, and that's why it's set in uppercase. And furthermore, we're going to assume that p is uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. So the question is, under these conditions, what is the probability mass function of x? It's still going to be a discrete random variable because it is binomial, but this time p is a random variable. The way this is handled is the conditional probability mass function of x given p is binomial. So f of x given p equals little p is n choose x, p raised to the x power, 1 minus p raised to the n minus x power for x equals 0 through n. Notice that this is just nothing more than the binomial probability mass function once you fix the parameter p. However, the probability density function of p is f sub p of p equals 1 for p values between 0 and 1. And that is the assumption up here that p is a uniformly distributed random variable between 0 and 1. Now from this, the unconditional distribution of x will be f sub x of x is the integral from 0 to 1, we're going to integrate out p, of the conditional distribution, that gets put right here, multiplied by the probability density function of p, that gets put right here. And to work that integral, notice that it's with respect to p, so the n choose x can be brought outside of the integral because it does not involve p. And that's, you're left with the integral from 0 to 1 of p to the x times 1 minus p to the n minus x dp. Now this n choose x can be written out as n factorial divided by x factorial n minus x factorial. So there that is. And this integral right here, once you assume that p lies between 0 and 1, you can send that to maple or you can do some substitutions and wind up with x factorial n minus x factorial time or divided by n plus 1 factorial. So the details are not given on how this quantity here is calculated, but if there was more room you could do so. So you'll notice the x factorials here cancel and the n minus x factorials also cancel and n factorial divided by n plus 1 factorial is the same as 1 over n plus 1 and so here are the n plus 1 mass values and you have actually an equally likely distribution is the probability mass function of x in this particular setting. So again, this is a, an example of where you have random parameters in one of the distributions that was looked at in this chapter.